Hola, me llamo Moxley, donde esta? Hi, on Android. Today, we're going to talk about why rooted Android smartphones are actually more secure. As an expert of Android for the last seven years or so, let me clear up this misconception among Android users. Let's go do this, baby. All right, before I begin, I've been rooting Android since Nexus 1 in 2011. I own about 1,000 Android smartphones. I still own them, by the way. Um, this is just one of the big piles that I've got. And in the last seven years, how many times I've been hacked? How many times I've had spyware on my phone? Zero, all right? Um, so there's a lot of misconception. A lot of writers, they're not really expert at this that are writing articles or making videos about how rooted Android is less secure. Um, that's so far away from the truth. First of all, what is a rooted Android? Um, rooted Android means you have 100% admin access to your phone. Having 100% admin access means you have full control. You can do whatever the hell you want with your phone. All right, usually with a rooted Android smartphones, you can't even receive OTA over-the-air updates. The user must manually up their software. Now, this can actually work out. There are a few instances where automatic OTA updates can actually hurt. For example, a manufacturer like LG updates their software. But these updates are made by humans. Sometimes humans make mistakes. They accidentally included a new security flaw. And now, if you have your automatic updates on and your phone updates automatically, and if hackers figure this out, then everybody who updated could possibly have their phone hacked. Just one example. Of course, it can also go the other way where OTA updates can fix a security flaw. All right, but having full control means that even manufacturers cannot automatically update your phone. And if a malicious hacker somehow got hold of the OTA update control, then they could possibly put some malicious code and update your phone without you ever knowing about it. All right, so there's a problem there. Second, most of my Android smartphones do not run stock software. They don't run the original software that the phone shipped with. I actually have something called custom ROMs, which is a highly modified version or completely different version of the Android operating system. Uh, for example, uh, Lineage OS Resurrection ROM. These are ROMs built on pure Android Google code. Which means if you have a Samsung device that's running TouchWiz and you install these Lineage or Resurrection Remix, which we also call AOSP ROMs, AOSP ROMs, then you have a completely different software from Samsung's TouchWiz. In fact, it's a pure Android. Um, it's actually a modified version of the pure Android. Now, somebody's probably asking, Hey Max, why is that so important? All right, so if you think like a hacker, if you know how hackers think, and I know this because I'm sort of a white hat hacker. Um, I know how hackers work since I do a lot of coding, you know, do a lot of Linux, you know, and high on Android. All right, it's how hackers work. Um, they don't actually attack one person. There's no value in that. Uh, hackers will usually attack a large user base as big as possible so they can hack more people and they don't actually go to one person and be like, hey, we're going to go ahead and hack Mike's phone. No, they don't do that. They make automated scripts. In fact, they make everything automated. Um, they're constantly trying to break the system and they will usually target uh, hundreds of people, thousands of people, or millions of people. An example of this where OEM software can be very vulnerable. I don't know if you guys remember, uh, like six months back, about, about a year back, um, there was iPhone security flaw where you could send a special Indian character and it would shut down the user's phone. All right, while this hack isn't, you know, a big security vulnerability. Since it doesn't steal your passwords, it only shuts your phone down. It's a primary example of how hackers work. They will try to attack a large user base. Everybody on iPhone is using iOS. iOS, that's what I call it. When you're using the same thing as millions other people use, it can be secure, but at the same time, 
if there is a security hole found like the Indian character flaw, it means your phone will be affected. Now, if iPhones were rootable like Android and you could have installed your own custom ROM such as Resurrection Remix on it, you would not be affected by this security flaw. That is why if you know how to use root and install custom ROMs, it can actually make your phone more secure because hackers don't know about it. They're not going to attack a small group of people. Uh, for example, a custom ROM, maybe at most 10,000 people use. They're not going to attack that. It's just not a good use of time. Just think like a hacker. All right, third, custom ROMs are 100% open source, all right? Uh, which means other open source reviewers can review the open source code posted on sites like GitHub. Um, that's why sites like XDA, I would not worry about, you know, malware. I've never seen any malware on XDA because one of the requirements on XDA is that you have to post your open source code. For example, a kernel, if you don't actually open source it, um, they don't actually allow you to post it on XDA. Which means if there's a security flaw, you know, somebody will find it because it's open source and it'll be exposed immediately. All right. And patches will be updated immediately. That is a beauty of open source that, you know, everybody can chip in. You're using the knowledge of, you know, thousands of these open source developers. All right. Versus um, let's say Samsung TouchWiz. A lot of their code is actually not open source. Uh, when Samsung or LG uh, or Huawei, when they add their custom software, some of it is left closed source. And what happens is that all that security flaw, uh, the open source developers obviously cannot review it. And what can possibly happen um, is that you know, they're only relying on their company's resources. Uh, and sometimes, you know, a security flaw happens. And when that happens, everybody using, for example, a Galaxy Note 8 is affected if there is a security flaw, as an example. But if you're running a custom software, I've actually got Galaxy S9 software running on it, um, then I won't be affected because it's only affected the Note 8 users. All right, that's just an example. So yeah, next time you hear that rooted Android smartphones are less secure, think again. And I would like you guys to educate them uh, with some high on Android knowledge. That's it for today. I'm still working on the Fortnite. I'm running on my older devices. Uh, but one of the biggest problems, I was actually flashing ROMs on like five different phones. And I figured out safety net is not passing for these older phones. And I may make a tutorial on that, how to make it pass on these older phones. But none of them are literally passing. Anyway, I'll have an update on that too. Also, I'm working on the game controller too. I should have that by, you know, tomorrow or day after, I think. Sometimes when I'm doing these things, tutorials, sometimes I get stuck. I got stuck for like 24 hours. That's why there's no video because I worked on it all day, all night and <laughs> couldn't figure it out. <laughs> anyway, have a great day, guys. Some random knowledge. Next time somebody tells you rooted phones are less secure, think again. Have a great day, and as always, stay whole. Click here to subscribe.